a cliffhanger. Something that is an emotional high point, usually supposed to be the climax of the story, or at least that's what we think, until the rug gets pulled out from under us. There are cliffhangers in life, you know. Have you ever gotten the, uh, we need to talk text? You're expecting an immediate resolution, begging for it even, but it doesn't come. You have to wait until the next go around, the next conversation, the next episode. It's painful, but it's something that keeps us coming back. It's something that keeps us watching, keeps our attention, and keeps us focused. Why? Well, if you take any freshman psych class or interpersonal comms course, you'll understand it's because human beings hate uncertainty. But when uncertainty is put within a certain framework, it can become addicting. Take sports, for example. We don't know who's gonna win or how they're gonna do it, but we understand that the rules are clearly defined, and the outcome, even though uncertain, is fun to watch. There's a concept in film that plays on this need or this love of constrained uncertainty. It's actually called Chekhov's gun. Chekhov's gun states that if a gun is shown in film, that at some point during the film, that gun must go off. Now, why? It's because the human mind has this need for climax. It has this need for resolution. It needs to see that gun go off to feel put at ease. But is that really what a cliffhanger is? No, of course not. The cliffhanger is so much more than Chekhov's gun. It defies the need for that resolution. It takes the climax and postpones it to a different time, creating this desire to see more. You see, a truly great cliffhanger takes something like Chekhov's gun, fills it with emotion, racks it, and then just when you think that gun is primed to go off, nothing. That's the beauty of a cliffhanger. If the climax is the target or the goal, the cliffhanger can push it further away. Have you ever heard the expression, hindsight is 2020? This refers to the thought that everything that we see in our rear view is actually clearer than what we see in front of us. It explores the idea that maybe we're so focused on getting where we're going that we're missing things along the way. We're not really soaking up the journey and therefore we can't really form a complete picture of the world around us. That's what I think about cliffhangers. I think that they kind of help us get a little bit of that 2020 back before everything is in the rear view. It gives us just a little bit of time to stop and enjoy the journey before we really get to where we're going. Thank you. You got it. Appreciate it. Okay, so why would you want to push off the climax? Thank you. Why would you want to include something like a cliffhanger? Why wouldn't you just want to get to the point? Well, in a world full of instant gratification, I think it's really important to savor the journey. If you treat a cliffhanger kind of like we do gas stations, you get to stop and you get to take a moment to kind of soak everything in. And on the trips that are the longest, you know, sure, that stop's gonna add a half an hour to your drive, but when you finally get there, it's so much more rewarding, right? Oh, and uh, speaking of climax, I almost forgot. Chekhov's gun, right?